AT&T is, is, is hesitant to change their, their models in terms of what is essentially enough and adequate upload and download speed for, for home internet. So many people are now working from home permanently as opposed to temporarily. Right. The advent of Zoom, the advent of Teams, the advent of Facebook messaging on, on online. Right. For the, for the past 15 months, we've been using those platforms to connect with our social circles. And if you've got a one meg, three meg or eight, I, I know some of the some of the carriers around here have five and eight meg um, uh, upload speeds uh, on their on their Internet tiers. That could be enough to do one or two things simultaneously. Now, if you don't live in a house by yourself and you got kids and you got someone else is streaming Netflix, someone downloading off of YouTube, somebody is uh, downloading some video games and playing music, whatever, you got a lot of activity going on your on your uh, on, on your internet connection. You start chewing away at a lot of that, especially if you're trying to do video and you're trying to do quality video. So again, like Tallboy was saying, if you if you're trying to stream and do live content creation in anything upwards of 1080p, 2K, or 4K. I, I stream in 4K, right? So I'm, I'm pulling a lot of bandwidth. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm, I'm streaming in 4K, 60 frames a second coming out of this house. AT&T says that 10 megabits up and down should be enough. That's not enough. That's really not enough to do higher level, higher quality, higher bandwidth types of needs for the single household, again, who only one person is streaming Hulu at one time, one person is streaming Spotify music at one time, that's fine, right? But again, if you got multi people in the household that are doing different things on the internet at the same time, you really need to start thinking about offering and, and, and jumping into a different tier. Hopefully this conversation happens. Yeah, this story is a couple of months old, but hopefully this conversation keeps happening and AT&T realizes that they need to start upping their base tiers and offering some quality pricing competitive pricing to what other carriers are for 25 50 and maybe even one one gig uh, up and down uh throughput and connectivity into the house i i just wanted to talk about this because again i think at&t being the large organization that they are needs to step up to the plate and take care of their customers to if you fiber run into your your residence like tall boy does at, at least provide a adequate level of connectivity up upload and download uh to multi-person households who are doing multiple activities online. Real brief, I just want y'all to understand what's going on with this whole AT&T um, story here. Um, they don't want, AT&T does not want to lay fiber out in the rural areas. And the FCC is basically saying, we need you to, you know, service your customers and so congress is trying to get involved with this and basically there's been proposals before congress to build an 80 billion nationwide fiber network to serve rural areas that currently lack affordable wireline service um, basically the network would offer 100 megabits per service with um, basically symmetric upload and download bandwidth um, AT&T does not want to do it. They just don't want to spend, they don't want to lay down that fiber optic line. And basically people who go out into rural areas, get their houses built from ground up and they're saying, Hey, we're going to bring internet out here. And then after two or three years, it doesn't happen. What ends up happening is you're screwed because you got to now pay $50,000 for AT&T to lay down some, some fiber optic cable. So you can have the same speed as somebody in the city if that makes sense mm -hmm. um yeah. basically they are saying that because everybody's at home they're saying that you know you can according to zoom's website 1080p video requires three megabits per second upload the high quality referred to at&t blog post is 480 video um stream and basically three to four people needing seven to 12 megabits per second in an upload bandwidth to support uh, multiple zoom sessions they're saying that that's fair that's why James is saying, hey, 10 megabits. <laughs> no, come on now. Like, help us help you. You know, you keep going up on the prices, but then yet you don't want to lay down the infrastructure. So that's where the problem comes in with this whole AT&T uh, situation. So 
I don't know, James. Um, I don't know what AT and T is going to do, but they're just yeah. basically fighting against building a nationwide fiber optic network uh, network across the rural and unserved areas because they don't because it wants to stop government waste. That's their excuse. Yeah.